Hi, my name is Utpal Anurag and this is video of experiment 4. So in this video, we are going to deal with the uh, diodes and uh, their different DI characteristics. So first of all, let's look at the component that we require. The first component uh, that we require is a uh, diode and uh, the second components are like a resistor for the load, uh, one resistor of 1K and uh, one resistor of 10K. And the third component is our multimeter and the uh, fourth component is our ADL input uh, for power sources. And the fifth component is a capacitor. So, this experiment is divided into four parts. So, in the first part, we have to just find the, that uh, diode forward voltage by connecting the diode with a 1K resistor in the series. And in the second part, we have to make, we have to build a half wave rectifier circuit. And in the third part, we are just using an LED uh, which should blink on each rising uh, wave of sine, uh, sine wave. And in the fourth part, we are dealing with the Zener diode. And also we plot the uh, IV characteristic uh, graph for both uh, the, uh, diode and the Zener diode. So let's move to the first part of the experiment. So this is the part one of uh, our experiment. What we have done is we have connected this diode in the series with 1K register. And we are going to connect our multimeter across this register and measure the current in the circuit. So we set it to 20 milliampere, 20 milliampere. And now, first of all, let's look at the diode. So there is a white lining and uh, in the diode. So diode is totally black, but there is a small white lining. So that white lining node is our cathode, and that black, totally black side is our anode. So we have connected our anode to our channel A, and from there we are going to gradually increase the voltage from zero to one volt uh, to find out that diode forward voltage. And our blue, so this blue is connected to the ground and we are giving this uh, uh, ground to the other side of uh, register. So now we go in our pixel pulse and increase the voltage. This is our pixel pulse. So first of all, we set this uh, value to 0 0.1. So there is nothing in this uh, multimeter. Now again, we increase our voltage to 0 0.2. Again, nothing. 0 .2. 3 nothing 0.4 so something is blinking so that does not matter so much if the current that is flowing in the circuit goes to 1 milliampere then we go to the pixel pulse and note that voltage down and uh, that will be our diode forward voltage so now 0.5 nothing is happening and uh, now 0 0.6 0 0.7 so at the 0.7 volt, this uh, multimeter is showing about 1 milli, 1 milli ampere of the current. So this 0.7 is our diode forward voltage. So our diode's forward voltage is 0.7 volt. Now again, we flip this diode and connect this cathode to our VCC and this anode to the register, register side. And again, we measure the current through the circuit. So at 0.7, it is showing some 0 milliampere. And that if we point it again zero, and if we are giving as a three volt, let's we are giving three volt. So nothing is showing in the multimeter. So now we plot the graph for this diode, and also we can say that this diode is in a reverse bias mode. So this is the part two of our experiment. Uh, in this part, we have to make a half wave rectifier, and we are connect. We have connected this anode of this uh, diode to the channel A. And also the register one end of register is connected to 2.5 volt. So just we are just uplifting the lower side of this uh, rectifier. And our channel B is connected to the between the junction of uh, diode and the register for getting our output. We are going to give the voltage through the channel A in this circuit. So first we are going to give the 5 volt, and we can see our output, which is half of the wave is uh, clipped and half of the wave is rectified. We change our input to 4 volts. It will take uh, some time to load. And we can see our rectified output. So this is our half wave rectifier. And what if we connect a capacitor of 22 microfarad in parallel with this load register? So the, the output is now changing due to the uh, this uh, capacitor because when this uh, sine wave is going from zero to uh, you can select base to 
the peak voltage the capacitor is charging and when it is coming down the capacitor become fully charged and start giving its own voltage so we can see this ripple in the half wave rectifier so this is also was our bonus part now we move to the step 3 of the experiment so this is our part 3 we have connected an led with our uh, resistor so led also act as a diode and we are giving the same thing that uh, red wire is giving input uh, to this circuit and this brown wire we are connected we have connected this to channel b to get our output and this this uh, blue wire is connected to the 2.5 volt now we can see that this led is uh, blinking because half of the wave is rectified and half of the wave is clipped off so this shows that our led also can act as a diode so this is part four of our experiment we have connected this zener diode in series with a 220 ohm resistor and we are giving this anodes uh, we are giving channel a through the anode side of this zener diode and also connected a one side of the resistor to the ground and also, and connected our multimeter across the rl to measure the value of current if the value of current goes to the one milliampere we note down that voltage and that will be our zener diodes forward voltage and similarly we flip our diode and start giving the voltages and note the same thing we have given uh, 0.1 volt to our uh, circuit nothing is happening and uh, now we change the voltage to 0 0.2 0 0.3 now 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0.8 so at point 8 the value of current goes to 1 milliampere so this 0.8 volt is our zener diode forward voltage so we now flip our diode we have flipped this diode and we are giving the channel a to the cathode of this diode and start increasing our voltage so if you are giving 0.8 volt nothing is showing in the multimeter and if you apply 1 volt again nothing 1.5 volt if you goes to go to 2 volt there's something blinking in the multimeter but that does not matter at all so if, if we are giving 3 volt again it is uh, around 0 0.6 milliampere at 3.4 volts it is 1 milliampere at 3.6 volt so at a 3.8 volt now our um, current go have reached about uh, 4 milliampere and if we measure our voltage across it so our voltage is, is constant it is not changing but our only only our uh, current is changing and if we again increase our voltage to 4 volt it goes to somewhere 6 volt and if you go to the voltage zone the voltage is static so now we go and plot our zener diode iv characteristic so this was a demonstration of our week 4 video thank you